As we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, let's all stand and join in singing our gathering song, number 424. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, number 424. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred. <clears throat> I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You alone are the most high. 
with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of holy family life and in the bonds of charity and so in the joy of your house delight one day in eternal rewards through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever reading from the book of Genesis. The word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision saying, Fear not, Abram, I am your shield. I will make your reward very great. But Abram said, O oh Lord God, what good will your gifts be if I keep on being childless and have, and have as my heir the steward in my house, Eliezer? Abram continued, See, you have given me no offspring, and so one of my servants will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him, No, that one shall not be your heir. Your own issue shall be your heir. The Lord took Abram outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abram put his faith in the Lord who credited to him as an act of righteousness. The Lord took note of Sarah as he had said he would. He did for her as he had promised. Sarah became, the, became pregnant and bore Abraham a son in his old age. At the set time that God had stated, Abraham gave the name Isaac to his son of his whom Sarah bore him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be blessed and prosper. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house your children like shoots of the olive around your table blessed are those who fear the lord and walk in his ways indeed thus shall be blessed the man who fears the lord may the lord Bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age and Sarah herself was sterile. 
for he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the sands on the seashore. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test, followed up Isaac, and he had received from the promise he was ready to offer his only son, of whom it was said, through Isaac descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise him, even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, waiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simon blessed them, and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, the child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. 
when they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Timothy Stackpole was a New York firefighter. In June 1998, he was severely injured in a fire accident. He had fourth or fifth degree burns, almost 40% of his body, which needed multiple surgeries and months of painful rehabilitation. He had two goals, to spend as much time as he could with his family and to return to his job. Despite the advice of friends and family and the fact that he could retire comfortably, he returned to work on 10th March 2001. On 9-11, Stackpole had just finished duty when he heard the news of the disaster. He rushed to the second tower. It collapsed shortly there and took his life. He died forever faithful in his calling. Forever faithful. These words sum up the thrust of today's readings and speak for each character in them. The first and second readings extol the faith of Israel's first family, the, that is Abraham and Sarah, and God's promise to Abraham and that he would give many people and many descendants Abraham, though old and childless, put his faith in the Lord. God asked Abraham to leave his homeland and to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. Abraham is forever faithful. The Gospel recounts the faith of the Holy Family, Joseph and Mary, present their only son, Jesus, in the temple, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. They did and would undergo difficult times. Their son, Simeon, tells them, is destined to be a sign that will be contradicted or controversial. So they underwent more sufferings than any of us in this world. So at the betrothal, betrothal time, Mary was found with a child by the Holy Spirit. It was a suffering. And at the divorce time, Joseph decided to divorce her silently when he came to know that she was pregnant. It was a difficult time that was a suffering. At the delivery time of the Mar Blessed Mary, there was no room in the inn in the bitter cold that was a suffering. At mother, at the mortal danger of the baby, the King Herod decided to kill baby Jesus. It was a suffering. At running for life, they flee to Egypt at the dead of the night, was a suffering. At Jesus losing in the temple, the awful experience for the parents at the age of three years was suffering and at Joseph's death Mary and Jesus were left all alone was a suffering at mockery on Jesus Jesus called a sinner glutton prince of Belzebul 
in spite of doing wonderful things, was a humiliation, it was a suffering. And at the lonely times, all he have left him, his disciples and people who received favors, it was a suffering. And at the death of Jesus, Jesus was innocent and falsely accused and crucified a shameful death. And Jesus was placed in the hands of arms of his mother Mary. It was a suffering. But they did not give up. They remained ever faithful to the Father. Simeon and Anna are, are, are idealized portraits of their faithful remnant of Israel awaiting the Messiah's coming. Forever faithful. So that's a challenge and invitation to our families today, dear friends. Despite all the pressures and tensions and crises we face, will you and I remain faithful to God, to our family and to, our, to one another, despite and in the face of troubles? In the midst of family troubles and crises, let us not lose faith and hope. Things will change. As I was reflecting this morning, uh, sitting in the rectory uh, about the readings today, I just looked through the window and I saw the big dried up trees and the plants around the houses. They are just dried up, lifeless. They look as if they are dead. But you know, after all this snow and winter is gone, they withstand all these severe winter colds. They seem to be there dead. But there comes a day when spring comes, they all bloom, they become beautiful with full of life. Things will change. And let us not give up in our difficult times of life. Don't fear whatever happens in our life. Things will change. God knows each and everything that happens in our life. We don't have to fear and we don't have to worry. Just surrender ourselves to God. And the first Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says, God will not allow you to be tested beyond your ability. But when it is beyond your ability, he will give you the strength to bear it. May this new year of 2024 be a year of hope and a year of growth in our spiritual life. Dear friends, ask the Holy Family of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus to intercede our fam for our families. Thank you. Please rise for the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. 
he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen in confidence in the heavenly father now let us offer our prayers for all leaders in the church may the lord grant them compassion and wisdom as they shepherd his people let us pray lord hear our prayer okay. for the safety of our military police and firefighters let us pray lord hear our prayer for our family of parishes may the holy spirit increase his gifts in us to move boldly into our new family with confidence let us pray lord hear our prayer for all who struggle with mental emotional or spiritual darkness may the light of christ break through their burdens and bring them comfort Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may we be given the grace to hear and respond to all God is asking of us. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rejoice in the eternal light of heaven. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For Nancy Gates, for whom this mass is offered. Let us pray. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father grant us these prayers that we have presented and the prayers that are in our hearts grant us through Christ our Lord amen number 466 what child is this number 466 and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father Amen. 
We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and St. Joseph, you may establish your families firmly in your grace and your peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, 
by whose death you will to recon reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis O. Pope, Dennis O. Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom ye have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the glory are forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not only that we should have been under my own. I only say the word of my soul shall be. Body and blood of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. Number 455, once in Royal David City. Number 455. Thank you. 
Let us pray. <clears throat> Bring those you refresh with this sac heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Number 430, angels we have heard on high. Number 430. Say what made us 